Hi guys, welcome. Attention has been drawn to the pathetic state of Obizi Community Secondary School in Ezenite, LGA, Imo State, Nigeria. This is where this um, this is Imo State. This is the position of Imo State on the map of Nigeria. Um, Imo is one of the 36 states of Nigeria. In case you don't know what is Imo State or you're not from Nigeria. It is actually in the southeastern region of Nigeria, and Owere is the capital amongst you know other larger cities like Olu, um, Imbise, Oguta, Okigwe, and the rest of them. The school is so much in decay, and you'll be wondering what kind of education anybody wants to get in that kind of place. The students of this school are subjected to Classes taught in a dilapidated building or under the tree. <laughs> the building are so, they are in so much state of disrepair that when it rains, what I get into the classroom and the student will have to stay in the classroom. This is a public secondary school in Imo State. Question, what did the governor or Korocha and the rest of the governors what did they do with the millions while they are more interested in erecting statues they deny the citizens the people that actually voted them there their kids a classroom comfortable at least for them to stay in this is so pathetic this is so pathetic now when you see this you kind of it, it, it becomes very clear to you that it's not Buhari, it's not the president. It doesn't have to do with what tribe the president is from. What about the same guy, the same man, the same woman, the same local government chairman, the same senator, the same governor that are from your village, that are from your state? What have they done? Because most of the times when people want to talk, rather than them um, speaking with, rather than them speaking objectively, they tend to play this ethnic card than focusing on the corruption, the corrupt practices, the evil of even their own local government chairman or the honorable representing them in that small street of theirs. Just look at the condition of the classroom. Look at the, the board is actually on the wall painted black probably by the students for the teachers to write on imagine the dust nobody uses chalk anymore just look at the classroom this is terrible now the issue is that these classrooms lack adequate furniture and some students are forced to stand while being taught just this is a classroom this is a classroom. You can see the students actually standing. And I think um, these things are done. I mean, these politicians, these corrupt looters, these criminals, they actually do these things to make sure that none of these kids here will be able to fight them intellectually. But what they don't know is that even if you pay the police and you think you have all the securities all paid for you know paid to, to to kind of protect you one day revolution that will come up if they've not desensitized this once here that will actually carry guns because if this young lads and young you know pupils here have no proper education and they think suffering is, is a part of life like this type of thing that is happening here it's so easy if a politician gives them money because um people have been they've been indoctrinated with a kind of uh, with stupidity meaning this man that is driving this very expensive kind is a politician or my pastor god made him so no god did not make him so he actually took advantage of you and you are there because you are not taking action god never made him so so they've always made it like oh it is god god made it it's it, it, let's leave it in the hand of god let's pray for them no you have to take action now the surroundings of the schools are no better overgrown grasses can be seen creeping on the walls of the school building um 
a staff of the school look like, just look, look at the school this one looks like something that can fall at any time and kill students now this one of the staff of the school has actually cried out for the intervention from goodwill nigerians he's not talking of the government any longer because i think they've given up he's actually crying out for he's crying out to um sit nigerians that can actually help at least to help this the lives of these kids to let them have a proper place to 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 study of course there is no functioning library in this school there's never going to be a library in the school there is no laboratory in this school because they don't even have a classroom now the staff that actually took pictures of all this said that um because um there is no security these students are exposed to a lot of risk and including rape abduction of students because okay look at this who has done this to us why is it that africans now nigerians why are these people so devilish the minister of education former minister of education i think during jo good luck jonathan she said that education should the the tuition fee should be increased in the universities tuition fee should be increased the question i ask her is this where did she get money to send our own child to yale university abroad of course they send their kids to school abroad and they pay a lot of money and some of them probably give back to those kids abroad already so those kids have free education but what she thinks as a solution is the government increasing the tuition fee of students in the university not asking how much salary their parents get paid she just opens her mouth and she's talking about how the government can assist the people um give grants scholarship to people that cannot afford it but the people that can afford it how are you going to make that difference how are you going to separate the people that can afford and people that cannot afford it so when they speak sometimes and these are people that are schooled abroad when they speak sometimes you begin to wonder what kind of what lies in the mendula or bloganta of those people why are they reasoning this way if they schooled abroad that's because they feel the world is on their under their feet and that's why whenever you see them speak they speak nonsense the only time you see them protesting is when they want to score a political point they actually don't really care about anybody just look at this classroom the ceiling is or the roof is almost falling down on the students here and this is the condition this is where they have to sit in what's this even a cow will not want to stay in here this is the condition of the classroom it's so tough it's so terrible it's so sad and pathetic well hope the new governor idioha would see this and actually do the right thing and not just call political point oh i i um oh i took over the governorship seat and um the other not just stupid um political you know characteristics that they exhibit stupid characteristics hope this gets to his own pa get down to him get down to anybody the minister of education anybody that is involved and this is not just it's all over there look just look at the school that success also attends in delta state this is disgrace in a country that has all the natural resources that you can ever think of these pictures are not they are, they are not something good to look at these are not pictures that are good to look at uh, just imagine a classroom this is a classroom and i think there is no way a student can actually stay in here this is decay educational institution in decay this is not even this de de i cannot even call this decay this is this this destroyed i mean what what kind of name can we call this 
and this is a school just look at the <laughs> this is a classroom it's terrible it's terrible this is a school obizi community secondary school is in it local government area here are the comments of people here last last school now yeah, someone said, child, was this not part of Rochas or Coracha schools that he said he built? Yeah, someone said, beautiful school, no amazing, so amazing with open roof for proper ventilation. May God bless Rochas or Coracha for nice invention. I think this person is actually making a kind of, um, in that, well, <laughs> hey, another person says, and Coracha was busy talking yesterday that there will be no need for the current administration to build sc schools, government house, roads, market, and bridges that he probably claimed that he had already done that during his own reign. Isn't this an eyesore? Yeah, someone else in response to this say, believe that's come at, at your own peril. The man really achieved a lot only with his mouth. Visit to Imo State is all is all any a visit to Imo State. Everyone needs to understand he lives in the in an alternate reality. What exactly is the job of the state and local government? Where I serve to was like this. The indigents abroad later renovated the school. Shame on this government people. This is tough. Here, someone says, um, if it is Lagos or other regions, our Afonja brothers go they brag this thing no fit happen for East, barren and failed land. Yeah, someone says, please let us blame Tinubu for the sorry state of our region. Don't let us mind our business. Lagos is heaven, Biafra is hell. So he's actually saying um, that the people clamoring for Biafra, Biafra, apart from building big mansions that you barely see anybody live in, nothing is happening in the eastern part of Nigeria. That's the problem. So it's so funny. They are clamoring for division. First step is for them all to move to the eastern part of Nigeria uh, and develop that part first. Hmm. Yeah, someone says, Okoracha may be a criminal, but this is smear campaign. D, there is no state in the Federation where you will not find schools as lapidated as it's not a single state. Don't mind, don't make it look like it's an emo or Koracha thing. It's a Nigerian problem. So, actually, this one is part of the um, people that we are talking about. Your state cannot provide school. You are talking about federal. Why don't you talk about your state first? Yeah, someone say one person cannot do everything. What do you think is the meaning of continuity? If nothing like this is in a state, then will another fellow contest? Imagine what this one is saying. Like you need to leave some things in decay so someone else can have a job to do. These are the people we are talking about. Hmm, this is serious. Yeah. He said when cockroaches was busy building statues while neglecting schools and hospitals, like what I said before. We wouldn't say sorry if that roof caves in on those kids. I just wonder how irresponsible the, apparent, the parents of these kids can be to put them glaringly in arm's way to the teachers and principal. Jail time for manslaughter awaits. It's serious. Now, I don't know how true this is. Um, because a lot of people post pictures that are not actually um, has to do with Nigeria, but then it's an African thing anyway. Yeah, someone said, what of this one? The, what of this one of a classroom allegedly, of course, allegedly in Biosa, one of the richest oil-producing revenue-receiving states? This is a picture that has been going on. No, that I've, I've seen this picture, but I'm not too sure of this picture being in Biosa state being in nigeria it could be somewhere else it could be pictures many years ago i don't know but let us imagine let us just look at this anyway it doesn't matter if it is five years ago the point is when and why would such happen how can these kids be here just imagine it's flooded they have to sit here was this picture arranged just as a smear campaign because this can be done also um, some politicians can just pay some people and say look let us smear um let's do a smear campaign and they get these kids they arrange this stuff and put them there and take pictures and post these things on the internet of course we know that these things happen but let's assume that this is a classroom in biosta state 
where the federal government gives them allocation because they are one of the oil richest producing revenue receiving states so the revenue they receive from the federal government is come on a lot of revenue they get a lot of money from the federal government i hope this gets i mean this thing this this video gets down to just everybody people that will actually look at this and do something about this rather than just um um just looking at it and say well, it's one of those things do not forget once again to click on that red subscribe button and also the red icon bell which signifies notifications whenever videos are uploaded. Thanks for stopping by.